Toyota announced on Tuesday that it would be introducing high-performance solid-state batteries as well as other technologies to increase the driving range and lower the price of future electric vehicles. This strategic shift helped boost Toyota's shares. The Japanese giant's technical roadmap, which covered topics as diverse as the creation of next-generation batteries and a dramatic reorganization of plants, amounted to the automaker's most comprehensive exposure of its strategy to compete in the rapidly expanding EV industry, where it has lagged behind rivals led by Tesla. The idea was announced the day before an annual shareholders meeting where governance and strategy, including a gradual shift to battery EVs under previous CEO Akio Toyota, would be examined. Shares of the top-selling automaker in the world increased by 5% on the day to 2,173 yen, their highest level since August. According to Toyota, next-generation lithium-ion batteries with better ranges and faster charging will be available starting in 2026. It also bragged about a technological breakthrough that solves solid-state batteries' durability issues and claimed to be working on a way to mass-produce the batteries, with a 2027-2028 commercial launch date. Compared to existed liquid electrolyte batteries, solid-state batteries can store more energy. By solving a significant consumer concern, range, automakers and analysts anticipate them to hasten the move to EVs. Nevertheless, the price of these batteries will probably increase over time. Toyota will protect itself with more effective lithium iron phosphate batteries as a less expensive alternative to lithium ion batteries, which have accelerated EV adoption in China, the world's largest auto market. Toyota announced it would manufacture an EV with a more effective lithium ion battery at the upper end of the market with a range of 1,000 km 621 miles. In contrast, the lithium-ion-powered Tesla Model Y, the world's best-selling EV, has a longer range and has a maximum driving distance of roughly 530 kilometers, according to US standards. According to Toyota, an EV with a solid-state battery would have a range of 1,200 kilometers and a charge time of just 10 minutes. On the other hand, the greatest network of its sort, the Tesla Supercharger Network, provides the equivalent of 321 kilometers of charge in 15 minutes. Toyota made no mention of the proposal's anticipated costs or capital requirements. Since last year, the automaker's engineers have been debating whether to revamp their EV strategy in order to be more competitive. The roadmap unveiled on Tuesday revealed that under the leadership of new CEO Koji Sato, Toyota has adopted a large portion of the redesign that engineers and planners have been preparing as possibilities for months. Using equipment from companies like ASIN and Denso, including electric axle technology, is part of it. Takeru Kato, head of the brand new Toyota EV division BEV factory, stated in a video that was uploaded to the automaker's YouTube account on Tuesday that what we want to achieve is to change the future with BEVs. On the other hand, Toyota announced that it was creating a platform specifically for electric vehicles to lower the price of new models and a highly automated assembly line that would replace the conveyor belt system that has been a staple of the car industry since Henry Ford invented it more than a century ago. The self-propelling assembly line developed by Toyota allowed the vehicles being produced to go through the process by themselves. Likewise, it announced that it would use Giga Casting to minimize production costs, implementing a Tesla-initiated invention that makes use of enormous aluminum casting machines to simplify vehicles. Toyota's decision to challenge Tesla's production efficiency advantage startled Koji Endo, a senior analyst at SBI Securities. Toyota is preparing to attempt, he said, though I'm not sure if it can push back in a counteroffensive just yet. According to Kato, Toyota's BEV factory, which was formed in May, wants to build nearly 1.7 million vehicles by 2030, or roughly half of the 3.5 million EVs Toyota expects to sell per year by that time. For the first time ever, the manufacturer sold more than 1% of its total global sales in a single month in April when it sold 8,584 EVs across the globe, including those sold under the Lexus brand. Toyota, which has a market capitalization of roughly $254 billion, sold about 10.5 million vehicles in 2022. Tesla, in contrast, sold one-eighth as many cars but is valued at almost $791 billion. This premium reflects investor confidence in Tesla's growth potential.
As the automotive industry moves away from gasoline-powered cars, Toyota has long stated that it intends to give consumers a choice of new energy vehicles, including battery electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cells, and petrol-electric hybrids. The race toward zero emissions automobiles. Other automakers have invested heavily on zero emission vehicles. General Motors and Honda both made commitments to end producing cars with internal combustion engines by 2035 and 2040, respectively. Toyota, meanwhile, has lagged behind in jumping on the EV bandwagon. The business declared in 2017 that it would phase out gas-powered vehicles by 2040. In a 2021 investor call, however, EV strategy director Shigeki Terashi reneged on that pledge, claiming that it was too early to concentrate on one option, at least until 2050. This is despite the introduction of EV regulations by places like California, which would prohibit the sale of internal combustion passenger cars and light trucks by the year 2035. By 2026, 1.5 million EVs are anticipated to be sold, according to Toyota. By 2035, Lexus, the company's high-end brand, will run entirely on electricity. While Toyota top scientist Jill Pratt stated that an all-electric strategy was impractical in the same month that Sato claimed the time is right for an EV-first approach, Sato made the statement in January. It will become clearly evident from these shortages that one size does not fit all, Pratt said in a report, not only of battery materials but also of charging infrastructure. It's important to note that Toyota's most recent tech briefing makes a lot of bold statements. Don't forget that Toyota is exploring many of these ideas and either developing them already or has plans to do so. Don't get your hopes up, Toyota has a history of making grandiose claims about advanced TV battery tech like solid-state batteries that haven't materialized. For instance, Toyota initially stated that their first solid-state battery power DV would be released in 2021, but then in 2017 they pushed that date out to 2022 and then 2025 and they are now estimating 2028. The new approach, however, comes a day after a number of Toyota shareholders announced they had voted or planned and to vote to remove veteran CEO and well-known EV skeptic Akioto Yoda from the board over the automaker's failure to specify a date to transition to all-electric vehicles. Public Citizens Climate Team Clean Car Advocate East Peterson Trujillo said the following in a statement in a report. Automobile manufacturers in jeopardy are those without a strong EV strategy. Toyota made a clear attempt to allay shareholder concerns at the shareholder meeting with its declaration today that it intends to start selling long-range EVs with improved battery technology in 2027. Shareholders should be cautious and keep pressing for accountability until Toyota stops opposing the future of electric vehicles and commits to a 100% zero-emission car lineup. Toyota may be experiencing pressure to speed up BEV development, however it is still making investments in other fields, such as fuel cell and hybrid technologies, which will probably prove to be an expensive course of action in the future. Shareholders are asking the automaker to accelerate because of this in order to avoid missing out on profits. Good news is that, according to Nikkei, Toyota Motor will receive a subsidy of about $853 million $120 billion yen from the Japanese government to increase the production of electric vehicle batteries in an effort to increase domestic output and reduce reliance on supply chains connected to China. According to SNE Research, which was cited by Nikkei, Chinese suppliers, primarily CADL and BYD, control more than half of the market for automotive batteries, while Japanese companies, led by Tesla supplier Panasonic, account for fewer than 10% of that market. According to Toyota, the funds will be used to develop the next generation of lithium-ion electric vehicle batteries, known as bipolar lithium iron phosphate batteries, which could provide electric vehicles with a 20% increase in range, while also costing about 40% less than the current generation of lithium ion batteries used in the Toyota BZ4X crossover. That being said, what do you think of Toyota's EV plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.